vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Hi. Today we're in Irwin at the Olive Pit and we're going to go inside and see what kind of good treats they have in there. Come on, let's go. I decided to start by taking a look around. The first products to catch my eye are a variety of balsamic vinegars that are infused with fruits and vegetables. And Leanne is going to share with us some of their health benefits. Health benefits of balsamic vinegar, they reduce your blood sugar, they help promote the healthy digestion, they help with your skin, they reduce hypertension. So there's a lot of different health benefits of it. They help you aid in losing weight. Balsamic vinegars are very diabetic friendly too. The Olive Pit also offers soup packets that you can take home and quickly make. They also sell an assortment of this nice cutlery over here. Like we have dip mixes. This would be a great place to stop for a quick gift for someone. And they offer gift baskets that can be custom made. At the Olive Pit, they also offer a nice variety of pastas. Now we're coming to the olive oils. Leanne, share with us some of the health benefits. Yes, the extra virgin olive oils are very heart healthy. They have a lot of the monosaturated fats. They help with you know, improving your heart, they improve your memory, your cognitive behavior. They do improve your skin also. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, saffron? I also wanted to bring to everyone's attention that each of the olive oils and the balsamic vinegars have a card in front of them, and that tells you a little bit about the flavor profile and also something that they would pair well with. Now that we've taken our time and looked around the shop, let's head over to the front counter. This is Leanne, and she is the owner of the Olive Pit. And we're going to have her take us around. Pointing out customer favorites and recommending some items to sample. Okay, so we have a line of balsamics. They're all infused with different flavorings. We have light and dark. Um, one of our most popular sellers is this black garlic. It's great for a marinade. You can put it direct on salads. I'm going to try that one. It's, it is very tasty. <laughs> yes, I would love to give that one a try. Okay. Absolutely. We have some bread over here if you want to. Cool. First up is the black garlic. That is delicious. I love black garlic. If you've never tried it, it is a very unique flavor. It's a little sweet and pungent at the same time, but this balsamic vinegar really highlights it in a nice way. What I use the black garlic for at home is I put it over rice because if I'm doing a very basic rice and a very basic dish, this totally changes the flavor of that rice really makes that rice taste savory. Now I'm going to do a balsamic vinegar, ginger, and blackberries. Mmm, the blackberries really come through right off the top. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure how I would use this. Maybe, mmm, like some stir fry? Just the ginger and the berries? I think I would try this in a stir fry. Mmm, very tasty. And it's nice and thick too. See how thick it is in there. Yeah, what I have used this lemon for and I would love to try the jalapeno lime. I make a drink or a beverage called shrub and it's just like shrub like outside shrubs. We'll have to put out a shrub video soon. What a great idea. And it makes the best beverage and it is so healthy for you. Right now it's popular to have vinegar drinks. Yeah. And just sip it. You can't gulp that down. Yeah, you that just have delicious. to sip it and it's one of those drinks you want to have again and again. That sounds really good. You mentioned that some people like to buy the vinegars for drinks. Which ones do you find they pick most? The lemon is good in a vodka, like a vodka seltzer type drink. That's one of probably the most popular. Some also bought recently the jalapeno lime for a drink. Mmm, do like a spicy margarita yeah. or something. Yeah. That'd yeah. be delicious. This is a chocolate balsamic vinegar that I have never tried. Mmm, it's so chocolatey. I don't know why I expected. <laughs> mm. That would definitely be great on some fruit. Or Leanne was saying that lots of people like to buy this and grill up pineapple and then put the chocolate balsamic vinegar on top. I also wanted to mention that each of the different vinegars or oils have a card below them that gives some information about them. And I have since got one of these, took it home, and it is great on raspberries. Now we are moving forward, we're back at the beginning of the line again. This one is a Bel Tuco, and it is an herb blend, and it is delicious and savory. I think it would be great for a white pizza. I think this would really take it up a notch. Mm. 
so flavorful, delicious. This would also be a great balsamic vinegar to put on your salads if you're trying to avoid oil. Many of these would be great salad dressings if you're avoiding oil. They are delicious and tasty. So all of the olive oils that we have here, they're all extra virgin olive oil. So any product that is an extra virgin olive oil means it has to go through a process of being cold pressed within 24 hours. So if it's not cold pressed within 24 hours, it is not an extra virgin olive oil. 24 um, hours of picking the olives? Yeah, 24 hours of picking the olives. And usually you try to get an unripened olive because it gets the better quality of olive oil. Ooh. We infuse all of our olive oils and it does not take away, many people ask if it takes away the health benefits of the olive oils, but they use an olive with a delicate profile. So it does nothing with the quality of the olive oils. All of the products are produced in Modena, Italy. Um, so they're all straight from Italy. Um, all of our balsamics, they have no added um, sulfites, there are no added colorants, no thickening agents, so they're 100% all natural products, which is very important to us here. Yes, awesome. And I heard you giving someone a tip about smelling their olive oil, I believe yes. it was? Yes, like a gentleman just called and he wanted to know if his olive oil was still good. Um, I told him to open it up because if it, an opened olive oil usually lasts for about six months. If it's not open, you can go about a year or two. Um, I told him to open it and smell it. If it smells like Play-Doh, it's probably not good anymore. Um, the balsamics, they are, they last a lifetime, so that is, they never expire. Oh, good to know. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Now we're going to move from trying vinegars to trying the olive oils. This is a saffron infused oil that I am about to try next. Mmm, I feel like saffron. You'll love that. Nice amount of saffron flavor. It's not too overpowering. It's delicious. And I also wanted to point out that behind me, are these beautiful cutting boards that are locally made by a vet and that you can come here and purchase one of these also. I think they are beautiful and very high quality. The Harissa infused olive oil. It's unfamiliar to me. What does that taste like? It's good. It's not anything that I am familiar with to even compare it to. It's maybe like smoky-ish kind of thing? I don't know. If you know what her risk is and you like it, leave me a comment below. <laughs> Up next, I am going to try a roasted onion. This is an olive oil again. That would be a great base for like anything you're going to cook in a skillet. Mm. Oh, I better not eat all my bread. I'm going to do the garlic now. <laughs> I would just drizzle this on fancy bread and just eat that up. That's delicious. Mmm. Let's see what we got next. This one is a Tuscan infused olive oil. I'm getting like rosemary and basil. Mmm. That's a good one. Mmm. I think I just put this on pasta. I think I can just put this on pasta and eat it. Just like that. Very good. This oil is oregano infused. You definitely get the oregano. This would be a great base to start with, too. How would it be for dipping in bread? I would dip, I would just dip bread in any of these and eat them. Or drizzle it on it and toast it. Leah, I understand you just recently bought this store. Yes. Uh, what, in November? In November, yep. November the 2nd, my mother-in-law and I, we took over the store. Um, so we have a lot of plans that we want to do. We want to revamp some things. Um, all of our bottles, we want to make uniform. We want to get the round green bottles, because olive oil needs to be in darker bottles to preserve the freshness of it. Um, we're also rebranding all of our labels, so when you come back next time, I hope you do, we will hopefully have everything rebranded and ready to go. Thank you so much for your purchase oh, today. Thanks. I'm going to give you our business card. On the back, you'll see here that for every 10 bottles you buy, you get one free. Cool. You can also visit us online at theolivepitirwin.com. We have all of our olive oils and balsamics there to purchase online, and we can ship them, or you can do a pickup in store, and we'd be happy to run it out to your car. That's cool. We'll that. Thanks. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day. Merry thank Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. We can't wait to see what Leanne has in store for the Olive Pit. Please support your local businesses and keep watching for the bloopers. Hi. Thanks for wait. That's car. Hey. My still roll. It's still rolling. It sits. How I'm like really makes it taste. Uh -huh. Oh, I can send you over a <laughs> that we will what? grow back. Yes, by the end. Kitchens, um, counter. Drinks you want to what? Moving on. Good. Nice.